To me, this outfit says, let's go on an adventure through space and time. Also, I'm so gay. Hey, hey. Back to school season is here, which for some of you may be very exciting and for others maybe not so exciting. But either way, I went on my Twitter and asked you guys to hashtag back to cool with any of your questions, comments, concerns related to the back to school season. I'd like to start with this first one because it comes from an adult who's affected by college kids coming back into town. Allison Barkley asks, how to deal with hell raising college kids coming back into town? That's a great question, Allison, and it sounds like a real toughie. I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> Hell raising college kids? Oh no! Well, since Christianity is the only religion that actually believes in hell... Maybe. Try reading them some Bible quotes and see if it'll make them go away. Ah, yes. Like fluttering birds pushed from the nest, so are the women of Moab at the fords of Arnon. You're welcome. Now let's read from the other good book. Just kidding, I'm not gonna plug my book there. That makes me really uncomfortable actually. Like, too far. Michelle DNC asks, I'm starting college soon, but how do I make friends when I have trouble talking to people? Making friends sure can be hard, especially if you have trouble talking to people in general. So prepare yourself on the inside first before going to a party. Also, maybe some vocal warm-ups will help. Here's one of my favorites. Hey guys, I brought some weed. Also, real quick note about medical marijuana. It's kind of crazy to me that people have this misconception about weed, but they don't apply it to alcohol. For instance, there are so many people that are hurt and affected by alcohol. Not only alcoholics, but also people that are subject to their actions. Whereas with medical marijuana, it's more like, boy, I sure am depressed this Sunday. I better vape a little bit so that I can do all my laundry, clean my house, and listen to way too much jazz. Just saying. Brian Lomatewama. Brian Lomatewama asks, what if you have a specific specialty you think you want to go to school for, but it's expensive and you're not 100% sure? Hey dude, that's a great question. I would say that the money's not at all your concern right now. So go ahead and pretend like you've got all the money in the world and just focus on the specialty itself. When you're thinking about that, if you still want to do it, awesome. Once you have 100% assuredness in that, then go for it. You'll find the money. You'll find a way. Use the secret. Think positive. Am I a... Am I annoying? Alternatively, you could also um, go get a less expensive degree on a subject related to that field, but then get a job that pays you at a higher rate and then save up that money that will get you closer to the specialty subject. Uh, I don't know, so many unknowns. You just gotta go for it though, you know? Life's the journey, not the destination. If you don't go for it, you're gonna spend your whole life being like, oh man, I didn't go for it. Again, figure out whether or not you actually want it first. And lastly, Allison Hunter asks, how do I get on the good side of the mean teachers? The best way to get on the good side of mean teachers is to take a long, hard look at them while they're lecturing. Look at their right side, look at their left side, look at them turn to the right, look at them turn to the left. Once you've figured out what their good side is, just jump! Also, don't worry about making your teachers like you. Worry about getting the most you can out of your class. And try not to worry about it at all. Also, don't be a people pleaser. So many lessons! Okay guys, that's it for the question section, but I would like to share with you guys some life hacks that I really, really, really love and I think are really applicable for college students. Back to school life hack number one. Buying textbooks is expensive. Textbooks are heavy, they hurt your back, and they're super, super, super expensive. So I read online this great trick. Once you've attended the first day of class and you have the syllabus for the course, you'll see what chapters are gonna be covered from the textbook. Then go get the textbook from the store, mark said chapters, make photocopies of them, and print them out. That's gonna cost you like 20, maybe 40 bucks that's a lot less than a $180 textbook, which you can immediately just return. Life hack number two, planning an all-nighter to study for the test. I don't encourage it, but if you are, here's a helpful tip. You wanna go into the test feeling fresh and prepared, and wearing your stinking library clothes that you've probably worn for arguably two days already isn't gonna help you feel that way. So, bling! If you lay down your shirt, tuck in some underpants with a toothbrush and stuff like that, then fold like this, Stick two socks out the sides with the toe part facing in, 
Roll, 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 roll. Fold the socks over and slam! You have a sleeping bag of fresh study wear. Go and kick that test's ass, cause you don't smell. And then you won't get a weird look from somebody when you walk in. It's not about you, it's probably about that shirt you've been wearing for too long. And lastly, life hack number three isn't just for students, it's for anybody who's ever asked me this question, which is, Hannah, how come your skin looks so good? And the answer is, it's not that good. I get a lot of acne on my neck because I'm constantly rubbing my neck. And this isn't a life hack, but just some feedback. One, don't touch your face. Drink copious amounts of water and green tea. I swear to God, if you start drinking one large ice green tea a day unsweetened, you tell me your skin hasn't improved slightly. And also, if you're really struggling with acne, try and cut back on salty, sugary foods. The salts and the oils and the fats that your body can't absorb will just come out of your body through the pores of your skin, forming little pus pockets that we call zits. Ew! Turns out, the stuff that we put in our body affects our body. Huh, and now snacking during studying is something I love to do. So it doesn't mean that you have to cut out snacking entirely, just make sure your snacks are healthy. For instance, here it comes you guys, you know what's coming. These snacks brought to you by Nature Box. This one's called Sriracha Roasted Cashews. Nutritionist approved, not full of any nasty chemicals, just full of Sriracha goodness. Spicy, salty, sweet, all natural and completely GMO free. Oh boy, would I? And if you like a crunch, the salt and pepper lentil loops are like pork rinds. Except without adorable pig death. Oh. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and congrats on going back to school. It's a new year, it's a new you. Well, it's probably the same you, but you can do new things. Also, for those of you interested, go to naturebox.com slash heart dough, get 50% off your first order, and it ships anywhere for free in the US. That's amazing, yay. Which reminds me of something, actually. You know, I had a really hard time in college studying because I have a very hard time mm, sticking to something. And you know what the definition of insanity is? It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So if you guys have trouble studying, go ahead and try a different study method. Maybe that's been the problem all along. I don't know. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. What does that remind me of? I'll just go on Tumblr for like literally one minute.